Hello everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So today we're going to be working on my iPad Pro and we're going to be making a kitchen cabinet. And uh, the reason for this is because we had a question come up, how do I make a cabinet with the door that follows the path of what I already created without having to redo a bunch of steps. So obviously in direct modeling, we had to do a lot of things. And now with parametric, we can save some time in the back end while having some extra upfront work. So obviously go into sketch mode because that's how we start in Shaper. And we want to do a rectangle, make sure it's on a diagonal. And you want to start from the really center because that's the best place to be. And at this point, it doesn't matter how, just make sure you lock that into place. Now let's go ahead and make a 42 cabinet and it's going to be a wall cabinet. So let's do 24 just because it's a good number to start with. All right, next we're going to draw another one here. And what I want to do up front is to make sure that these sides are 2.75 that's the typical cabinet size for the shaker style and not 27 obviously that's a uh, 2.75 sometimes when i talk and think at the same time i get messed up a little bit so we have 2.75 there and 2.75 there okay so everywhere is pretty good all right next we want to just go ahead and select everything and make sure it's in horizontal vertical so it doesn't shift on us and uh, let's go ahead and select just the frame cabinet part and i'm not gonna, i'm not a woodworker i'm a kitchen designer so i'm not going to show you the miter joints etc i'm just going to show you some basic steps on how to set up your model correctly for parametric so that it, it updates automatically as you go so this is just a few basic steps to show you how to work it all right and let's actually hide that body before we make that extrusion all right, let's go ahead and do 0.5 that way as well. And then unhide our body. And then what we want to do is tools union these two bodies together and click done. All right, now we have our basic cabinet door and shaker style. And we want to make our cabinet. So let's go ahead and extrude now this back plate. And let's do 12. That's the typical depth for the wall cabinet. And make sure it's a new body. All right, click done. And then click just any wall on that object and click isolate and tools shell select the inside there and do 0.75 as this is a frameless cabinet so this has a lot more space than the typical um, partial overlay or full overlay cabinets okay let's turn off isolate now we have these two cabinets and the majority of cabinets are actually made out of maple or paint grade wood let's go ahead and change that uh, to maple here just to see how it looks. It's sanded maple, that's fine. And then I just wanna make that look a little bit better. But basically this is our cabinet here. And what we can do now is instead of having to, like we did in direct modeling, which I actually really like direct modeling because for, for rough drafting, it's the best because for this, you obviously need to set it up correctly. And uh, they changed it to offset face now instead of move it. So you have to actually select the move tool and then you can go there. That's the manual way to do it, right? But with the parametric, since we set it up correctly, we can now just click that initial sketch here and type in, let's say 36. And we can also go into the history and select that first sketch if it's hidden for some reason. And we can mod this to any number we want. So let's say we want a 15 high wall cabinet above the fridge. We can do this and we can change the length to 36. And all these metrics are updated automatically because we set it up for the parametric modeling. And as you can see, and, and this would typically be a butt door obviously, but I'm just showing you guys an example. As you can see, we keep our hollow inside there and everything gets updated automatically. So this is just a quick overview of parametric and how to set your cabinet up successfully. Obviously there's a lot more things I could show you to go into detail. And at some point we'll probably make a whole kitchen since I am a kitchen designer at this point. Uh, so look forward to that. And I hope this helps. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.